This is the MCTV Weekday Update. Welcome to the MCTV Weekday Update. I'm Sydney Gatewood. And I'm Courtney Sansbury. An independent filmmaker is launching a national screening of a new film right here in Lubbock. Charlie Min has directed half a dozen films. His latest, The New Juarez, tells the story of the explosion of violence along the Mexican border because of drug use in the U.S. Min visited Texas Tech on Monday to show clips and talk with students about his new film. His message is blunt. When Americans use drugs, people in Mexico die. If you're smoking weed, then you're contributing to the Mexican drug war. We're the leading consumer of illegal drugs in the world. And I've always said this, Mexicans die as we get high, and that's no lie. People need to be educated about the drug war where 95% of the murders are not investigated. So that really begs three questions. Exactly who's being killed, by who, and why? That's why I call it a ghost war. We have all these dead bodies on the ground, and we don't, I'm not exactly sure how it happened. And a lot of that is because the police are corrupt. Not all of them, but quite a few. The new Juarez opens at Premier Cinemas on Slide Road this Friday. The first screening is at 11.30 a.m., then will run all day. Texas Tech is finding a picturesque way to welcome students back to campus. Reporter Caitlin Sinamo focuses on the university's push for diversity. It was a party outside of the Student Union building this afternoon. The Cross-Cultural Academic Advancement Center hosted a diversity photo shoot event. Ricky Sherfield is the unit coordinator of student engagement for the center at Tech and says the event had two motives. And so we're using uh, this opportunity to, to take images of the students, to use uh, stock images uh, for our different publicities that we use, different outlets. And so we thought, why not combine the two and also use it as a welcome event. This welcome event had a DJ turning tunes, lunch provided by top tier catering with cookies and hot dogs, a photo booth for students to dress up and show off, as well as professional photographers to capture diverse students for the center. Sherfield says the center hosts diverse events like this one throughout the semester. We have a lot of different events, uh, a lot of different cultural events. It's very diverse, uh, the different type of events, and every event is different, uh, but we, we love doing it. We love hosting the different events on campus and inviting the student body to come out and be a part of it, because really that's what it's about is supporting their students and letting them know that kind of their history and their heritage, you know, we do celebrate it. We care about their culture and, and TTU cares as well. If you want to experience new cultures, you can check out their calendar of events at ttu.edu slash diversity slash ccaac or like them on Facebook under the name Cross-Cultural Academic Advancement Center. Well, I'm not ready to say it's cool outside just yet, but at least it won't be in the 90s for the next couple of days. Yeah, it's going to be a nice break. Let's take a look outside. Right now it's cloudy in mid-80s. Look for nights nice in the low to mid-60s with highs at or under 90. We slightly warmer on game day this Thursday, but not nearly as warm as it has been. That's all for today's edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. Look for more news each day here on ttuhub.net, and we'll see you again tomorrow.